Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review. Sorry I have been gone for a bit um, at Thanksgiving and then a bunch of other stuff came up. But I am back uh, with the action figure reviews and I've also been busy with working on my cosplay, Spider-Man costume. But besides that, let's talk about the figure here. So here we have the Marvel Legends series uh, Druig from the Eternals movie. So let's go over to packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. Marvel's Eternals logo here, Druig. Here is the side art of Druig here with the Eternals logo there. Here is the back with the promo art of Druig there. And if you guys want to pause and read this description of Druig, you can do that. And then the Marvel Legends logo here in the corner. For this wave, we'll be building Gilgamesh. Uh, we already went over Icarus. We already went over Makari. We still need to Sprite. Uh, we still need to do Cersei. Still need to do Fastos. We already did Kingo. And we're doing Dru Druig right now. And then here's the other side. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. And then here's the top with the Eternal Z. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Druig out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get Gilgamesh's head, which we'll go over once we build them. And then here we get two fists here, which we've seen before. The pretty pale light skin there. So that's nice. And then that's all we got for accessories. Here is Druig up close. So the head sculpt looks pretty dang close to the actor's face. Uh, you get the blue eyes. You get the little blushed lips there. You get the black hair. Uh, very pale skin for him, which is pretty accurate to him in the movie. And then you get this really cool black and red armor. And with the skirt piece here, that is kind of just everywhere. But I really like the red decal on here. I will say that this has more of a matte finish, but I think this one... Like the armor pieces kind of look like they're shiny just because of the it's armor, whereas it's cloth. So I kind of just I kind of see that. Here's the back with some more red detailing. I wish they did some red detailings at the back to actually paint those. They never do the back side. I wish they do, would do that. You get this really cool symbol there on the shoulders. These are actual shoulder pads on them. And then here's the forearms. You get some wide open hands. And then you get the legs inside there. Not much to talk about there. They're basically uh, Icarus's legs, actually. And they just painted it completely matte black there. And then, yeah, that's all we really got for the looks. I mean, I really like the red decal on this guy a lot. I just wish they kind of went through it in the back there. Just now a whole lot left to do back there. So, but yeah, I like that a lot. And I like the shoulder pads quite a bit. But besides that, let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball joint in the head. Looks down that far. Looks up that far. Left and right. Lots of head pivoting there. Shoulders can move up that far. And the shoulder pads kind of go inside the traps there, which is nice. And then you get a 360 rotation there in the shoulders. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which are also pinless. And then wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation there. He has a ball a diaphragm joint, so you can go forward that far, backwards that far, side to side motion, some twisting motion. Legs can't go out that far because the skirt gets in the way, kind of. Forward, a decent amount, not too bad. Backwards, not you can't really do that. Thigh cut, you got double jointed knees, which are also pinless there. Um, right there, almost a butt kick, but it's kind of awkward with this uh, with the skirt there. Ankles hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's Druig for you. I really like this figure. He's pretty cool looking. I wish they would do more of the red decal in the back there, but it's not a whole lot left to do. But still, I think they could want the extra mile and finishing the back red pieces to do. But yeah, I really like the design of the outfit, kind of. So it looks really cool. Um, head sculpt looks great. Uh, it came with the Raymat accessories, I think. His power was mind controlling basically, so yeah, he didn't really have any weapons besides mind controlling. So yeah, um, but I, like I said, he's a cool figure. Um, he's one of my favorite characters in the movie too. Um, but yeah, that's all I could really say about this figure. Um, and yeah, so uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree in the description, it has my 
uh, TikTok, Instagram, and uh, Twitter if you want to help support me on those. But besides that, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.